There you go. The spirit so, yeah. blooms. Benedetta and the... Uh, I, 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 I actually prefer the Vex. Vex, yeah. Benevex. 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 There's no time what? To oh my goodness! That's <laughs> the line that I know! Right here in the Grand Finals, let's go! I'm not so familiar, so... <laughs> <laughs> I had to... You could tell me both blank for a yeah, moment. Yeah, but who knew? I knew. Liquid Echo go Florin into a Gord, which, okay, I mean, they have a Lapu Lapu and a Baksha with them, but Florin into a Gord is a little bit of a interesting choice there. Especially up against a Matilda as well. They oh, want to fight for a while. They want to go long, so I get the Florin pick. Longer right. team fights? Yeah. Up against a Roger, though? I mean, they want to go long also, so, okay, I understand. Right, right yeah. You got uh, the ult on uh, JP, yeah, to yeah. keep him up, you know, try to time out the bloodthirst from uh, Super Marco's Roger. That's true, man. I get it. Looking at the lineup here, the algorithm reads Falcon JP might have a small advantage. Yeah. But again, I I'd say that's a good chunk of uh, the weight pulled by the Matilda. How many times has Few played Gordon? Is it like, I don't recall him playing Gord that often. I know it's mostly Aqua that we've seen play it. I know Haji does too sometimes. Uh, this but. is his second time this season, and the first time they played it, AP Brent won. Hey, did I not say that in the beginning of the draft? Welcome I'm to Mobile Legends. Here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> and this had to be the concrete evidence, huh? Yep. It had to be this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number three. The defending champions up against the ropes, up against an unrelenting Liquid Echo. Waiting for the emblems to go up. I want to see what uh, goes on to this uh, gourd here. And of course, how Benny Cutie built his. Look at that. Look at that. That's a full on. Oh, wait, no. It, it's, it's a partly defensive carry. Yeah. Just a mix. Basic common emblem still, of course. Want to be able to get uh, that adaptive, uh, adaptive attack alongside the hybrid regen. I'm surprised actually how, how mana hungry carry can be somewhat. Looking at the EXP, so close for both junglers. Have to watch out uh, for. Where is it? Where is it? Ben Cutie at some point in the game. Because if Falcon's AP Brand take a fight at the right time and it's a win, if Falcon's AP Brand gets a snowball, this guy is not going to have a great time. Interesting to note where uh, the. Uh, there it is. All right. It's on Sanji. So Sanji definitely wants to push the advantage here. Win against you. Kyle Deasy, yep. heating up. Oh. oh, already level four. Tona's welcome into the wall. The follow-up gonna come through with a stun up from Few, and TG. now whittles him down. Carl oh. Deasy, first blood for a few. Man, the power of those auto attacks. You know what they say, man, the truth hurts. Yep. That's the Gord passive in action. It is. Oh. Uh, every time Gord gets a kill, type in the comment section, Naisu was right. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, it was right. Uh, turtle is up. Crowd TV will have its retribution and ultimate as well. Contestable for both. No clear EXP advantage. EXP laners, though. Already five TZs here. Was Hanford just looking for the entry? Got the go. Oh. JP very low. Forced the flicker. Look at Fuse positioning. He's ready to line it up. Drop down the stun, but he's going to be spotted out. And now the fight for the turtle is oh. going to be taken by Carl TZ. And now they're going to run down, but the gush is going to come down on Carl TZ as well. They force him back even further. Sanford going to get eaten up. Thrown. What? Tried to get him thrown into Sanji, but will not. And nobody went down in the exchange. Falcons AP Bren definitely could have played that disengage better. Odd how Carl TZ did not throw. Sanford into the wall there. This yeah. him straight into the air. I think he was just thinking maximize the distance I can be build between. So yes, if he bumped him into Sanji, then Sanji and Sanford would get stunned, but Sanford will be a little bit closer uh, actually to Kyle TZ and still have a chance to chase him down. So instead he spat him away, not getting the stun, but further from himself. Sanford's entry there was great. The layering of abilities of Liquid Echo in that first turtle meant that Kaltizi was just stun locked to hell. He couldn't even get his retribution off. And he was just bumping into bodies. Yeah. The fact that his Detna's welcome timed out, caught no one, made even that small sequence matter. Again, team fighting excellence on display for Liquid Echo. About a minute again for Falcon's AP Bren to make uh, a better call and try to score a big objective. They are up about 200 gold. I'm wondering yeah. how good it is for Marco because 
Benicute is waiting. Benicute needs some items before he can get online. Yeah. And the uh, small problem right now for Falcon Safety Brent is a level gap. One level ahead is Carl TZ over Kyle TZ. So they're gonna have to equalize that at some point. Oh, Super Marco uh -oh. in danger. This is, okay, he has to get out of there with a flicker. Able to withstand that, but again, they're gonna be happy with just getting that battle spell down. Turtle up in 12. Oh. Heptasy's already built up there for Flap TZ. So damage, Benedetta. Oh. Okay, they're trying to make a move on bottom. Few. Gets that terrified and they get crashed down by the circling eagle as Few does fall. And now I set onto that turtle. It has spawn Kyle TZ is now part of the fight. But they have to stall it out a little bit too. Sanford is now towards this side of the map as they get prepped and ready. That's four versus five. Few is up now. And they'll hold it together. Yeah. Liquid Echo just has way too many weapons, oh. man. Sanford, oh. already gonna jump in with a flicker, gets the stun on Super oh. Marco! Dodges that last hit with the pounce, and now Oakwin on the run, flickers under the turret, but will finally get taken down. Liquid Echo finds everything in the exchange. It's Hunt S1 again, they're still continuing it. They're sticking together five minutes into the game. They're willing to trade out the bottom tower, allow Flap TZ to take it for himself, while Liquid Echo are getting kills and objectives. This seems to be the perfect foil for Falcon AP Brent's plan B. Again, it was clear in game one and two they did not have Flap TZ play in. Sanford played man to man defense and more like man to man to man to man, right? <laughs> but here, Liquid Echo, they said, you know what? That's okay. Play the dead lane, make sure Flap TZ isn't much of a threat across the board. See this? Wow. He's just keeping him at bay. If anything, winning. Sanford here, playing man to man where it matters. He's keeping Flap TZ where he needs to be. He's playing man to man and out of this world. 40 is fully back. This is the M4 World Championship form of Sanford that we're watching. Oh, crash down once again to mid. Sanford jumps in with the Bravest Fighter, forcing them back. There's the Daytona's welcome. They're trying to disengage from this. Few still holding on to Mr. Gush. Not going to be able to use it just yet. But Falcons AP Bren will be happy with the disengage. Yeah, you actually saw Kaltizi attempt to throw Kaltizi under the turret, but the Baksha is just a little bit too big with a hitbox, bumped into the wall instead got clipped there yeah. to his advantage, right? Down bottom, plays out. Uh oh, sword battle once again. Flap just trying to put pressure there on the turrets. Carl Teasy now gonna find Super Marco. Needs the help of the team here. They're actually gonna give it a go on him, but JP just around the corner. And right now, Falcons, AP Brent struggling to find anything on the map to fight for. Liquid Echo going way too fast. This is the Echo Express Reloaded Deluxe Game of the Year Edition. Check it out. They've taken all turtles so far, seven minutes in, and pushed deep in a top lane, a tier two already. Oh, they're just playing at a pace that, so far, this series, Falcons AP Brand just can't catch up. Uh, you can see here in the gold bre breakdown, a slight lead for Kyle TZ over Kyle TZ. Gets a little bit more from the kills and the assist bot oh, lane. Flap in trouble. Bobs and weaves. Electro funnel blows out, goes into the wall. Oh. The team trying to catch up to him. He's going to get the guy oh, to win. But Sanford tries to go in with a flicker. Can't catch him in time. Flap will survive. Mr. Vinuya, who hurt oh. you? Oh, Why oh. are you playing this good tonight? Dude, Sanji and Sanford again, again. Sanji on this Valentina. The last time he had a Valentina in his hands, he was up against a Novaria. Did incredibly well. That was game number one with taking and making the most out of the Astral Echoes and other ultimates. Oh, mid lane once again. They're just going to feel it out here. Don't want to commit anything just yet. Checking each other in this mid. Keep it together. Stun's going to land, but no commit just yet. You know, you really see it happening uh, before our eyes, the draft philosophy of Liquid Echo. Oh! oh jumps in, and this could be a moment. Daytona's welcome to use. Throws him into the wall, they're blasting him down with a Mystic Gush, no and way. now furthering, going down, but JP's heels are just too much, and Benny Cutie circles oh! in around, but what a set with the Circling Eagle, and he's still gonna be fine. No one falls in Hot the exchange. As one. Divided, we cannot fall. No one died. No one died. They went that deep. What a fight! I was sure there would at least be a one for one and two for two trade, but no. They fight 
Both teams fight very well. They know when to get the kills, but they know when they need to back off as well. We're seeing the floor in full effect because of the lead they have. The Bloom coming out of Daddy JP's Florin actually gave Liquid Echo more chances to extend the fight a little bit longer and also survive. But they need to be careful, Liquid Echo, because we saw the response of Falcon's AP brand. It's there. They can respond to it. All right. It looks like Falcon's AP brand have been losing a lot of the fights. Relatively uh, keeping a low kill count. Many TKOs abound. But they seem like they want to dance. As Flapteasy works the long lane, Carlteasy and Kyle fighting for the Little Wanderer. The younger TZ gets it. Oh. Oracle already for this Lapu Lapu, so he will hurt and also be difficult to take down with the spell vamp and the shield that he'll be getting for himself. Oh, Sanford. What is Owen? Again. There's Ogwin now. Flap trying to join the fight. Daytona's welcome into Benny Cutie. Now into the fight. Sanji holding on. Goes up from the front side now, Ogwin on the run. There's the damage coming out from Sanji this no! time around. He gets taken down and they're still going for more. Forcing him out of the jungle here. Ogwin is the one to fall and now Liquid Echo goes for the Lord. Team fighting excellence once again on display for Echo. Liquid Echo. And just like that, they send Falcons AP Brenda pack and scoring a Lord. Sanford! Again! The peak of Sanford right now. Carl TZ on the run. Left TZ joins the fight looking for Benny Cutie, but he gets taken down. The heels are just too much from JP. My God, Sanford. It feels like we're in Jakarta all over again. Sanji stealing ultimates, making the most out of everything. The ultimate of the Matilda, the ultimate of even the Roger. At one point, the man was a Roger. Just so he can basic attack a little bit better and even use the Lycan Bounce and focus on Sanford. Focus on this young man. He has been unstoppable with this Lapu Lapu. That's just a hunter strike. He built dominance and Oracle. That's a hybrid Lapu, not a full damage Lapu. Don't let the low kill score fool you, folks. A lot of technical knockouts, a lot of major turnarounds have gone down in this 11 minute bout. Liquid Echo are 6,000 gold ahead of Falcons AP Brennan. They have effectively, effectively cordoned off the Falcons from flying. They can no wow. longer roam around the map. It's very difficult to play with a Matilda this way. So much pressure here. Like we mentioned, the flow coming out from Liquid Echo, and now I set on the base here. Shield's gonna be popped, Lord's gonna be worked on. Flap TZ jumps in, gets out with the Lecto final blow. Holding on to as much health on these base turrets as they can. But Liquid Echo will further the goal lead and take further control of this game. That's a successful defense by Falcons AP Bren. But Liquid Echo not looking to relent, not looking to give them any room to breathe. Lord coming up in about a minute. I like the final blow by Sanji stolen away to disengage. Wow. Liquid Echo can ride this momentum out. And they're playing up against the signature Matilda of Ogwin. An off-kilter pick though for few. The static nature of an of a gourd may be what's oh. changed here. And look at Sanford. He feels it. He is in the zone right now. Liquid Echo have prioritized fast, clear, high burst EXP oh. for him, and it's worked. They want to fight once again. Sanford, oh. John, the bravest fighter. This guy is going. The pull comes in. Daytona's welcome into the wall to the Mystic Gush. They'll find JP. Kyle TZ falls, though. The trade for the one for one. Does FCAP want more? Sanji again holding on to the ult of Super Marco. Flap TZ working on that top side, pushing and putting some map pressure. Oh, they're, are they going to stop him? Yeah, they're, oh, oh no, oh. it's not going to hit Sanford. So Falk and Zapy Baron are looking for wins elsewhere. We see it though, FCAP can fight just a little bit, but they still need to play the map, Sanji. Oh, spots, flap, let's go. The Falcons are crawling. Before you can fly, you got to crawl, you got to walk, you got to run. 6,000 gold ahead might seem like miles away. But this is one way to get it, make the game last much longer. That's I don't tough think, to see. I don't think there's any hunting that Falcons AP Brain can do. I yeah. don't think 
Super Marco is in a position to jump in just yet. But maybe, just maybe, by lengthening this Lord Dance, they can get one over. Make it, maybe they can make the map as blue as they can. AHP laners not going to be here in this fight. Look at the whole position that Sanji's holding with a Roger ultimate. Oh, he's going to find Super Marco, gets him a half health, goes in. Oh, wanted to go, but has to back off, taking that discipline route. That's, that's a Valentina trying to scratch yeah. out heads. I never thought I'd see that. Never thought you'd see it. The Sanji will be able to pull it off. And now Lord half health, less than half health. It will go for a soft reset here as Liquid pulls it through once again. Neither yeah. team wants to commit, and the XP laners might join the fight soon for this one. Yeah, you see, without uh, Lapu Lapu, the team fighting for Liquid Echo for objectives a little bit difficult. But now it's 5v4, Sanford's here. They're gonna force Ogwin back, takes a ton of shots from Benny Cutie. Guiding you in, but Sanford Whoa. gets eaten up with the Daytona's welcome! Yeah. But the spin wheels are there, Three. and Sanford gets the stun again on Ogwin! As two fall for F Cap, and the Lord goes to Liquid. And now Carl TZ will go ahead and power up right in front of Flap TZ, and Liquid Echo looks to make it into the base. Liquid Echo have scattered and broken F Cap's formation, and now they're inside the base! Super Marco does what he can, few clears with the Mystic Gush. They might have bought themselves a little bit more time to get ready for this defense. The flap. The push from the Lord. He's still there. He gets taken out. Oh. 5v4. This might be it. Oh, they might know it too. Super Marco gonna get forced back. They have to be able to clear this. Few does not have the ult just yet. Trying to clear these minions out. Carl TZ rolling on into the base. They only have that one minion left, but another wave gonna be pushing in. There's the Mystic Gush. Sanji there on the backside. JP has to flick her out. And they hold it together oh, for Sanji. now. Sanji could be in trouble, but he's still able to survive. And now Sanford on the run as well. Kyle TZ gets the guiding wind and they chase him down. But FCAP will have a successful defense so far staying into the game. That could have been it. That could have been it. 9,000 gold behind a man down. That could have been it. But Falcons AP Bren managed to hold on. Falcons AP Bren have their Roger built up. Still chasing items for their Gord, but that deals true damage. So you know that it is possible for them to fight. The problem is the damage, the sustain of that Lapu Lapu. The fact that they can't get to the carry. Uh oh, backside. Carl TZ gonna find few, oh, few. No. Stuck That's in a bad it. position, no flicker available. He'll get taken down as the gore drops. And Flap TZ cuts it off with the Electo final blow. But the Liquid Echo again as they get prepped and ready. 30 seconds away for few. Full on defensive maneuvers for the Falcons as Liquid Echo look to go at it again. One more go, one more siege, 5v4 in the base. Wave's gonna push in, they get the heal out as well. Flap TZ holding it down in the front, but he's taken down and Super Marco gonna be next as Benny Cutie unloads, unleashes, and Liquid Echo now still looking at the game, working on Kyle TZ. The spin wheels come down, Owen the next to fall. As Sanji picks up the kill and Kyle TZ can't do anything but watch as it's now 3-0. Match point. Liquid Echo are at match point. But one game away from taking home the MPL Philippines Season 13 Championship. You can hear it thundering.